Hi, I'm Hans Lysglimt. Today is September 18, 2008, and uh, we are in the middle of a financial panic. And uh, people are losing tremendous amounts of money. Uh, people are losing their jobs. There's a lot of agony. There's a lot of fear, um, a lot of struggle. Th these are hard times, and these are the beginning of even harder times, because this will last for some time. And... Um, I want to make this video of uh, try to try to make some kind of a consolation to people that have lost a lot of money or uh, lost their job or or are seeing right now uh, that the financial turmoil and the panic is uh, affecting their entire life and their their life situation dramatically because there are a lot of people this is happening to and you might want to forward this video to to anyone that might uh, have some consolation from it. Um, some of you will know that I've written a book that's called What Do You Want to Do With Your Life? And uh, it's found online at uh, selfhelpstartshere.com. You can search for it online. You'll find it, selfhelpstartshere.com. And this is a holistic approach to your entire life to figure out what you want to do with your life. And uh, I ask you to see this uh, turn of events as um, a chance for you to reevaluate uh, the path you're on and maybe find a better path. This might be the chance to pursue what you really want to do with your life. Um, have you been following me, my videos? You will know that I've seen the financial industry and what's been happening on Wall Street and, and the capital markets as a big scam. It is a scam that is brought about by the financial policy of the federal banks who have been printing way, way, way too much money and uh, pursuing a very lax uh, monetary policy where money has been easily available all over the place. So, um, so the, the fact of the matter is that a lot of the wealth that's now disappearing on, uh, on the capital markets uh, was never real in the first place. Uh, this is not true wealth that could ever be converted into services and, and physical things in the massive scale that the numbers uh, pretended to, 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 to show because um, the capitalization values were way, way, way too high in relation to what's possible to produce. So that if you have lost money on the Wall Street, it might be some kind of consolation to realize that a lot of this money was never real in the first place. Some people have sold and are sitting in cash, and to those people, the money is real and the values are real. But on an aggregated scale, on, on, for everyone, it would not ever have been possible to sell out and sit in cash and realize those values. The values were pumped up. And... Um, that that might be some kind of consolation. So if you thought you were worth a million dollars and now you're down to half a million dollars or 10 or 100,000 or 10,000 or whatever, you might have some consolation from thinking that that uh, other half of the money was never real in the first place. It was a mirage. It was a inflated balloon. It was something that uh, wasn't really real. Um, and um, back to your personal life, that is where you uh, should focus. That is where you should uh, spend uh, effort and energy and money to improve. And um, I, would, I would advise people to especially look over their consumption and their uh, their uh, pattern of uh, spending money and the, how they've been spending money in the last few years and, and how they plan to spend money forward. Because I see that a lot of the money that's being spent around the place is uh, part of the rat race. People are spending money to um, impress other people. I mean, people are buying brand new cars when they have perfectly fine, usable cars from before. The car may be five years old or whatever, uh, so they buy a brand spanking new car to impress other people, maybe to impress themselves. And this is same for uh, real estate and uh, watches and uh, everything they do. And I want to... Um, 
encourage people to think about whether or not their spending habits is uh, somehow related to uh, the rat race and to uh, impressing. Because in this recession now, that might even become a depression. I hope not, but it might. People will have to reevaluate their position and their role in the rat race anyway. And all this uh, game of trying to impress other people and impress oneself and all that will have to change anyway. So if you can do that now and reevaluate your position and, and come to uh, maybe living at a, a lower level but living comfortably and, and uh, getting by with what you have and, and the abilities and the money and the savings you have and, and just lower expectations and, and lower uh, spending habits, then uh, you are ahead of the curve because I believe a lot of people will have to go through that and and it's possible for a lot of people. You don't need a brand new car. It's not a necessity. And I'm not joking. I myself, I drive around in a, in a 1994 model car that I've had for 10 years. And uh, it's not like I can't buy a new car and I don't have, haven't had the offers from all kinds of companies trying to push me to buy a new car. But you don't need that. And uh, I'm far from perfect, but uh, I have in some sense come across or above or past the need to impress myself or impress others by having a brand new car. That is not something I need to do. But I see a lot of my friends and uh, pursuing that in, in Wayne, really, because uh, who's impressed by a new car when everyone has a new car? You know, it doesn't make sense. So um, use this uh, financial crisis and, and whatever your part or whatever change in your personal life this has brought about as an opportunity to reevaluate your assumptions and look at your life again. And use my book if you like. What do you want to do with your life as a, as a workbook and as a tool to reevaluate your life? Another advice would be to spend some time to try to understand what's going on in the economy and why this has happened. And the only school that has a good explanation for what's been going on and, and have been predicting this for t some time is the Austrian School of Economics. The Austrian School of Economics. And if, if you follow my videos and my writings on Farman, I follow the Austrian School of Economics. But the best place to find material about the Austrian School of Economics is at the Mises Institute online. Search for, for uh, Mises, M-I-S-E-S, -E Mises Institute, uh, and uh, you will find lots and lots of material and great books uh, on this topic. So if you, if you are in peril because of the economy going uh, one way or the other, uh, you want to maybe spend some time to, to try to understand what, uh, what happened and what's going on. That's, you owe that to yourself. Um, this is some humble advice. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give out some advice. Uh, please uh, take it for what it is. Thanks.